Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. Today we'll discuss a halacha in connection with this week's Parsha, Parsha's Bereshis. After the story of the Eitz Adas, Hashem hands down the punishments to the Nachash, to Chava and to Adam. And to Adam he says, Ki that you listen to the voice of your wife. And you ate from this tree that I told you, I commanded you not to. So there's a beautiful taich from, this, from the Talmud, from the Avi Nezer, that says, what does the word lamer mean here? So he says a person has to train himself that continuously has to chazer over what, what Hashem permits and what is prohibited, what is mutter and what is aser. The lamer is what keeps a person away from doing not good. And an other Mauritian's fault was that he, I told you lamer, I told you can chazer over, not to eat, not to eat, not to eat. And you did not do it, and that's what caused you to fall. And therefore, the Rahman al the curse is, uh, the, the earth will be cursed, the land will be cursed, and you'll have to toil all your life to enjoy some of the produce of the ground. Further on, the Pasuk says, Only with the sweat of your face, with hard work, you'll be able to produce and eat the bread that comes from the ground. Now the Da'at Skenim in Bali Ataisva says, Nimtza B'Sefer Ab Yudah HaChassid, it's found in the Sefer Ab Yudah HaChassid, Shezu HaKalola, the, the second Kalola of Zeh HaSapeh HaTaych HaLechem, Eina Miskayem HaSel Aba Evdei Adama, that only, uh, it's applicable, only applies to the, to the farmers or those who work in the field. But V'loi B'Malachim V'Sarim, not to kings or, or or uh, special people, they will not be, uh, 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 they will not have this klala. Avo be'etz of tildi banim, but the klala that Hashem gave to Chava, that was through suffering, only through tri- hard child labor, She'll, she will give birth to children. Miskayem bechal anashim. That will apply, that will apply to any woman. And the reason why Chava got a harsher punishment than Adam is lofisha isha chata vehichtia. Since the woman, Chava, not only she sinned, but she caused others to sin, therefore her curse is harsher. However, other Mephorshim say, it's basically uh, in the story from the Gemara Sachim. The Gemara Sachim says, Kashim is a nice of Shal Adam. It is harder to produce a good living, a kosher living. A Parnasa is harder, it's more difficult. Even more, keflayim kiyaleida. It's double as hard as the pain of childbirth. And the Gemara proves it from the Pasik that by, uh, by the curse, by the kalala that Abishta gave to Chava, he says, Be'etsev tel de banim, lashen yachid. And when the, by the kalala of Adam it says, Be'etsavoin, lashen rabim. And simply translated is, it means that, uh, yes, child labor is a tremendous sorrow, tremendous suffering. But you always have that vision that times will be better once the child is born and you'll have only simchas. Whereas the struggle and the tsar of Parnassah is always. And that's why it's kiflaim k'ileida. The Gemara goes on and says, Rabbi Loza brings two other, two other comparisons how, how hard it is to make Mizaynaitsa Shalad in Parnassah. Rabbi Loza says, Kashim is of Shalad in Kikriya Samsuf. It's as hard as for Hashem to produce. Parnasa for everyone, just as hard it was for, to to split the sea, Yamsuf. And the Mepharshim say that when the Abishta was about to do the Yamsuf, so the, the Malachim, the negative Malachim came and said, oh, how are you doing this? Not every Yid deserves to get it. Not every Yid deserves to free, be freed and leave Mitzrayim. And especially as such, uh, and that's like Kriyas Yamsuf. And the Abishta did not listen to them, and obviously he went ahead and did the Kriyas Yamsuf. So too, Naisen Lechem Lechol Basar, Hashem gives Parnasa to everyone. If you, uh, Tzadikim or Rachman al Rishon, Rishayim, Hashem produces everybody, to everybody, in, in a certain sense, it's even harder to, to, than what took place in Kriya Samsuf. And then Abel says, Kashim is a Naisen Shaladam Yaisa Mena Geula. To produce a person, uh, 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 to produce a proper Mizayna Shaladam, a proper Parnasa, it's even harder than producing, than uh, causing the geula of the redemption. Because by geula it says, Hamalach HaGoya Leisi An angel could do it. Whereas over here, by Parnassah, it's only the Abish himself does it. 
the Gemara, the Rashi says, why is it that so the Gemara elaborates so so much how important it is and how hard it is to produce a good kosher living? So Rashi says a person should know nafkemina let me borei rachmi. The nafkemina is a person has to know he should daven because it's not an easy task to have part, to make parnasa. Actually, even though it's so difficult, if you look in uh, Shulchan Aruch, in Hilchus Evan Ezer, Simon Ayin, if a person comes along and says, Kenish, I mean, it's, it's so difficult, Maybe, let's, I'll just be relaxed and hope for the best. So, uh, the, the Ramah Paskins, that one of the responsibilities that a husband takes upon himself when he writes to Ksuba, and he says, I'm the Eflach Ve'oikir, that if, even if things are going simple, and he has a minimum amount of parnasa, chayiv adam lahaskir es atzmei. A person has to sell himself kvayachah. I mean, rent himself out as a poil in any way, shape, or form to produce a better parnasa, because that is part of the chiyuv ksuva. Back to Rashi. The Rashi says that a person has to daven. It is interesting to note that uh, there is very few psukim or very few few tefillas that you have to have kavana. We know Kriyashma you have to have kavana, the Pasuk Rishon Shol Kriyashma, and we know Shmei Nesra, if not the whole Shmei Nesra, at least the Avis you have to, the first brach of Avis, you must have kavana. But there is one Pasuk in Pesukah de Zimra, that is an interesting halacha, that it says, the Gemara says in Brachas, anybody who says three times the capital of Tehillah the David, Muftach Lai Shehu Ben Elam Haba. What's unique of the of the uh, capital of the David, the capital of Ashrei, that it has, it goes in the order of the Aleph Beis, Bechol Yom Avachecha, God Hashem Amol Mary, it goes through the Aleph Beis. But the second plus is, and that's why it's even greater than the, the, uh, the Kuf, capital Kuf Yutas and Tehillim, is that in, in this capital there is also the Pasik that says, Paiseach Hashyadachu Masbi Alechol Chai Ratzin. And that is a tremendous shvach, a tremendous praise, and Bakasha to the Eivishter. And in Aloha it's Kapaskin. That if somebody says that that pasuk, he did not have kavana, he has to go back and re- repeat it again and say it with kavana. Why? Since it's only one pasuk, whereas in other parts of the davening we say, who, just like the first time he didn't have proper kavana, who says the second time will be any better? But on one pasuk, we, we will be in matriach to go back and say that kapit, that pasuk again. Now there is a machlekes achreinim. What does it mean? What happens if you uh, uh, if you're going back to say this pasuk? Do you just say the pesach hashidacha, or you say everything afterwards again? So the Mishnah Berurah says you just you have to say pesach hashidacha at soif hamizmer until vanachnu levarach you have to continue the rest of the mizmer. However, the Ktsayis Hashulchan Reb Chaim Noah says that you only have to say that pasuk a pesach hashidacha, and uh, you have to have the proper kavana and the ebish the shik parnasa. And it's, uh, it is also a minig Yisrael that b'shas you say b'seach as yadacha you're mamash mesh b'tefillin you touch the shalyad for those who are wearing tefillin you touch the shalyad and touch the shorash and the hezber is given it's brought in time and when hagim a person has to know again that the abish is the one that sends the parnasa and the parnasa is given to us for inyani uh, not not so much inyani arishus inyani aguf for gashmis. Fulfillment, but Laman Shmecha, we touched it's fillin to say it's not only Fandar Saguf, but it's Hanar Sarchishamayim.